Hello, my name is Alejandra Rodriguez, and I'm pleased to be here with you to speak about our research project, Neuropsychiatric Genetics of Psychosis in Mexican Population, Neuromex. This study is a collaboration between the School of Public Health from Harvard, THN, the Broad Institute, and El Instituto Nacional de Psiquiatría, Ramón de la Fuente Muñiz. And today I'm speaking on behalf of our wonderful research crew, which is led by Dr. Oscar Stankonen and Dr. Beatriz Camarena. Now, let me tell you some interesting facts about genomics research. According to this nature job, genomics is failing on diversity. And that is because most of the population that is included in the genome-wide association studies comes from European ancestry. And in terms of Hispanic and Latin American ancestry, our representation in these studies is of 0.5%. Besides that, the sample included in this population is very different because it's from different parts of Latin America. So currently, there is no GWAS study in Mexico that analyzes psychotic spectrum disorders. Therefore, the objectives that we postulate in our project is to expand the knowledge of the genetic architecture of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder in Mexico through large-scale sample collection, analysis, and follow-up. Second, to increase the understanding of the genetics of Mexican populations. And third, to enhance neuropsychiatric genetic research capacity in Mexico through the training of scientists and support the development of locally led research programs. We aim to collect a sample of 9,208 individuals between cases and controls. And we are including subjects with bipolar disorder type one, schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorders. In order to achieve our goal of 9,208 individuals, we have created some recruitment sites along our country in collaboration with mental health institutions from the states of Guanajuato, Jalisco, Ciudad de Mexico, Querétaro, and Campeche. And these are the recruitment goals for each location. Of course, everything is calculated so that we can achieve our sample size at the end of the study. And why do we need so many research sites? Well, that is because Mexico is a very diverse country. Regardless of what we might think about this Mexican stereotype, Mexico has many different faces. In fact, we have more than 68 native tongues distributed along our country. So we have a mixed ancestry. And if we want to have a good sample of Mexican heritage, we have to collect from different places of our country. So far, we have collected 1,073 subjects between cases and controls. And we know there's a long way to go, but we are very positive about reaching our goal in time. And so what's next for genomics? Well, in order to speak about our future, we'll have to speak about admixture groups in Mexican population. And according to this paper from Dr. Martinez Magaña, there are five regions in Mexico where seven different admixture groups are distributed. And right now, in our project Neuromex, we are only including these three regions, which means that we are missing pretty much the north of the country in terms of our sample. Besides that, we need to include the admixture group number four, which is this one in yellow. And that means that we'll have to increase the sample of the Southeast region of our country. And of course, to create a better representation of this group. And last but not least, we believe the identification of rare alleles in Mexican population using exome sequencing studies will be important to detect the new risk variants associated with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder that have not been identified in other populations. Therefore, the Mexican biodiversity could help us understand the genetics of these conditions. And we might contribute to the world of genetics as much as our biodiversity have contributed to many other things. So thank you so much for your attention. We hope you are okay during these pandemics and we send you love from Mexico.